Greetings from the Woodrow Wilson International Center for Scholars. My name is Rangita De Silva de Alvis, and I'm the director of the Global Women's Leadership Initiative and the Women in Public Service project that was launched by Secretary Hillary Clinton in partnership with the Seven Sisters Colleges and the Department of State to inspire a new generation of women leaders to lead their communities and their countries in every level of decision making in their governments and in public service. The mission of the Women in Public Service project is to ensure that a 50% women are in leadership positions in public service by 2050. And this is the exciting call to action. Now why is the rule of law imperative to women's empowerment? Women's empowerment and women's leadership cannot exist in a vacuum. It exists within the rubric of a strong rule of law that works for both men and women. Only if women have access to justice, only if women have legal aid and legal services, only if the judiciary is independent and gender sensitive and law enforcement is gender sensitive and is able to respond to both men and women, will women be able to vindicate their rights, be able to claim their rights and to be able to augment their rights and have their voices heard in court. Women's leadership is critical to the rule of law. For long, women have been absent from decision-making processes. Women have not been equal partners in drafting laws that impact both men and women. And women's absence from lawmaking has impoverished their communities and their countries. Women are part and parcel of the lasting solutions to their country's intractable challenges. Around the world, we see examples of where women have galvanized and used the courts as powerful platforms to claim rights when none were present in the legal system. Now, why is it that women are critical to democracy and the rule of law? Historically, women have been absent from law drafting initiatives and male hierarchies alone have drafted laws that have not embraced the voice of women. Michelle Bachelet, the current head of UN Women and the former head of Chile has stated so, so powerfully the rule of law often rules women out. So until women are seen to be critical to the rule of law, the promise of democracy and the promise of the rule of law will never be able to be fulfilled.